<laughs> you know what? Don't take my slogan. Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here we are with another video. And as you Oh yeah, we can't show them nothing yet. We can't we can't show them nothing yet. We'll go this way because we can't show you guys. But hey, whose car is that? We're back for another video. Oh no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but today you Do you need stands? Jack stands, yes. Jack stands I need. See, he's so helpful. So, all right, guys. So, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, uh, we're here for another video. I'm ready for another video. I hope you guys are ready for this video as well. However, what I'm going to do today, we're going to install a couple of components. I'm going to separate it into two videos. We're going to install um, an intercooler. And we're going to finally get, some, get the car breathing right, get some cool air running through the system rather than this heat soak. Calvin's here. He's good to go. And uh, it's hot. Yeah. you'll be all right. You'll be all right, Calvin. 90 you, degrees. You're, you're a trooper. You're a trooper, oh, guy. No, I'm not. You're a trooper. Look at his neck right now. He's sweating like crazy. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, it is 97 degrees at, at 11 o'clock in the morning in New York. And my idiot self wears a black shirt. Shout out to HPA Motorsports. Thanks for the, uh, you know, that. Uh, that puck was really nice. That uh, that dog bone mount, very very classy. But um, let's go to my trunk because literally, JSMK7 is not working on his car today because his car is perfect. But as you can see, oh, we got a day ahead of us, boys. Oh, we have a day ahead of us. All these boxes, <laughs> all these boxes are going on the car. I'm telling you, man, he's just freaking jacked right here. <laughs> But well, we're going to be doing this today. We're going to be putting on the intercooler and the brakes. So there's going to be two separate videos for the intercooler and the brakes. But yeah, uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jack the car up. It is 97 degrees. I'm not looking forward to doing this, but I have help. And that's the most wonderful thing. Calvin did not bring tools, so I'm a little worried. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jack this car up. Ooh, that's metal too. Ooh la la. Yep. Wow, that is brand new. A little dirty. So I'm sure you guys have forgotten about this. Revo, Revo Motorsports out in Atlanta, Georgia? No, they're, they're in Georgia. I know they're in Georgia. I forgot what part, but they are in Georgia. That's where they're located. But uh, yeah, we got the, uh, the side pipes here and they brought it to me. And this has all the factory hardware and everything to clip it in. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to this guy, man, for, for hooking this up. That's badass. It is. That's badass. That really is nice. You should do it to me. <laughs> Damn, I'm not supposed to curse on me. <laughs> Alright, well. Alright, so. This thing is Alright, so he got the uh George really, really killed it with taking off the front bumper. So he did it a lot faster than I used to do it. Unplug the fog lights, don't rip those out. He's killing it right now, taking off the uh, supports for the uh, headlights on the top. He's just going in, he just, he, uh, he's. He did a front mount CTS. If you haven't seen that video, upper right hand corner of the screen, check that video out. Where? But it's where, it's, it's, it's over there guy. It's, 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 that way. <laughs> <laughs> on my car and with people, because it's more fun and entertaining for you guys. But I mean, you know, it's, you know, MST performance intake here. We got mad bolts and stuff here. Yeah. We don't know where anything JR goes Hunter. back. JR I think I'm, Yo, leave a comment in the description below. I think I'm gonna run it like this, brace face. I think I'm gonna run it just like that. That radiator has seen, the AC condenser has seen better days. Jeez, look at the fins. That's, uh, that's terrible. <laughs> That's some of the drives to uh, Canada and to Georgia. You know, shout out to you guys. Yeah, so I'm going to keep going with this. A lot has to come off. A lot. But we're going to get it done. There they are, just standing in a row. <laughs> That's how we get through this. <laughs> He's mad at me because I picked the perfect day to do this. Happy Canada Day. Hey. Unitronic, love your life. <laughs> He's all about Unitronic. I wonder why. You know what? If we can get, you know what? Who wants to see that? I'm gonna do one of these daily, these daily driven exotic videos of where we're doing dares. 
if you if we get JSMK7 to 5,000 subs, he has to tattoo the Unitronic logo yeah. on his. I thought you love Unitronic, bro. I, I love those guys. But yeah, why not, yeah, bro? Show the support. Show the support on your own body. <laughs> Come on, if you could do if you could do God Flower, you could do Unitronic symbol. I'm sure you can. But it is because he's gonna get to 5,000 subs and he's gonna have to do it. That's why he's saying no. But yo, 5,000 subs to J JSMK7. Upper right hand corner of the screen. This is my left, but this will be your right. So up there, I need you guys to do that for me. And uh, make sure we get a Unitronic U tattooed on somewhere on his, on his body. I don't know where and I'm not picking it, but he'll get it somewhere. He'll get it somewhere. And it has to be shown. I'm thinking right there on that arm, right there. I'm thinking right there is the ideal location for that. No! Yeah, I think so. No, you know you can never go to any other brand of parts, right? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no need. Unitronic makes awesome stuff. What if I hi, Unitronic. Hi, Unitronic. I'm just, just saying hi, you know. I'm going to be at Waterfest, too. I'm, I'm going to be in the regular car show with the regular folk. But hi, you know. Uh, boop, 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 boop. We'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back. All right, we took a break. We had some purple drink. We had some purple drink. We had some water. We had some air conditioning. We watched a couple of videos. I'm not going to say what videos we watched, but, you know, obviously if you're on this channel, then you know which videos we watch. However... What don't you have? He doesn't have something. I don't have, I don't have uh, my flatheads. You don't have I broke Calvin. Them. I broke them. Mobile Harbor Freight. Do you have? Do you have flatheads? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. Because when we took his exhaust off, if you haven't seen that video, I actually was helping him, and we actually had to take one of the clamps off, and it literally snapped it in two. It was hilarious, but you know it sucked. But um, all right. But besides the Glad point, it was hilarious for one of us. Yeah, yeah, I, I, it was hilarious for me because it wasn't my tool. But I mean, at least it was an easy tool to. It's a flathead screwdriver. You can pick those up anywhere, Harbor Freight, anywhere you want to go. All right. So without further ado, we're back here at the car, as you guys can see, and uh, we're doing this. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take this apart now. Uh, I'm really being lazy right now, and uh, but but. Is so weird. These, so now we're doing the clamps for the intercooler. Then we're gonna pull everything back. This unlocks the hood? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's you a good go. thing you didn't close the hood. That would have sucked. I wouldn't even thought, you know what? For this installation, we actually have to take off the hood latch. And for some reason, I was almost about to close the hood, but I was like, nah. Thank you, God, for putting that in my mind because if I close the hood with this, with this detached, I would not be able to open up the hood again. So, yeah. So, could have been bad day, but good day. So, <laughs> not bad. I don't know about the lighting, but yeah, we can see it now. It's right there. That's one of the clamps for the inner cooler. It's right behind the AC condenser and the radiator. It's like one package sandwich deal. It's like, you know, you get your ham, you get your turkey, you get your cheese. You know, you have it all in the sandwich here. And you take it all out and you eat it, you know? So, but, you know, I was really, I, I don't know. That purple drink. I know, and I really, 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 really really want a sandwich now <laughs> after saying that but yeah but now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out the hose clamps for the intercooler and then we're gonna drop this out and we're gonna get this in the cooler out and rocking and popping and then uh hope all goes well oh my god i'm gonna be doing it oh get underneath that's right oh yeah why would they put it right there <laughs> upside down right no it's not enough space That's we gotta take of... the belly pan off oh this is a bad idea we should have left this under the car Oh, the tools are hot as hell, right? Yeah. All right, so this is the issue. <laughs> Can't really get to it. Uh, oh, okay. That bolt is still in, right? We should have took the belly pan off. <laughs> no, just get no, it on. No, I Shouldn't have to. It's like barely enough space. We got this. All right, this side's This is long for us, but it's going to be short for you. We're going to time lapse the hell out of this. <laughs> That's a pain. It's not a regular clamp. It's a teeth clamp. So you're gonna have to like actually close, close the hose. Wiggle it in nice. There's it's oil in here. Right That's not good. Around. It's kind of normal. It's yeah, not it's a lot. Okay. okay. I was like, no! Yeah, a little bit of oil. So. This is what you said? You said that? No, I didn't. Say daddy. Say daddy one more time. 
pull it out. Oh, wow. That's off. It's about to come out. Oh, it's gonna come out, ladies and gents. You just gotta pull this out here. Oh my god, is this so scary? Should we unclip the coolant line hose? Should I think we should, because it moves a lot. I'm just going to do it. What do you mean? The coolant hose. Oh. So if it does pull all the way out, then... It's not gonna pull all the way out. You're just taking this off the crash box. Pull this up. Pull that under first. There you go. Can slide that over. Oh, you guys are down. holding hands. Pull it down. <laughs> Come on, Dion. That's what you get. Right, pull it out. Don't drop it on my feet. So I got the did you get the on. bolt out from this side? Yeah. Oh, you did. You did. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. You did. You did. I did? I think so. This is my hand. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is heavy. heavy. Ah, this is hot. Oh, shit. This is hot. This is hot. This is hot. Ow. <laughs> oh, my God. A black metal pipe. A black metal piece. This oh, man. All right. Well, that's, pre that's what prevents... The engine right. from caving in. Here's where. Yeah. Funny. Beep, beep, we're the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Almost Once there. Push down on these things. Wow, this is crazy. Like, we have a car apart. This is this is nuts right now. Like, this is a lot that we've I've ever taken off. <sighs> One, two. He's counting. This, done. JSMK7 could count. That's great. It's good to know. <laughs> This is, good. this is good. This is when you know how New York. This is New York right here. This comes off. Two thousand years later. All right, guys. I sound really fatigued right now because this is not an easy job. Really not. It's actually. I'm not even going to front with you guys and lie. He's turning red. I'm just really out of it. We got it in, but we still have to button. Every, at this point, we're good. We have to exchange the clips from the old intercooler to the new intercooler. If you guys don't believe me, I hope you guys can see this in there, but there's Revo built in right in there. We didn't show you this. We accidentally left the intercooler out in the sun and it literally burnt my hand because it was so hot, 97 degrees. But we literally got everything back together. All we have to do at this point is button everything back together and get everything lifted and get everything back to where it needs to be. Uh, I don't know one thing. It's better make a hell of a difference. Made a little, I made a little mistake. Um, JSMK7 pulled this one out. This one's fine. This is the airbag sensors at the top. What's missing from here? I accidentally pulled them out of the terminals and broke the wires. So what we have to do now is that we have to figure out how to open up the connector, solder it back together, and then get the splice the wire, pull a little bit more of the sheeting off, and then put that part in and click the connector back together. And that won't throw an airbag in my face or throw an error or malfunction. I'm really particular about that but everything else just be careful when you're taking this out we have this held up by a bucket we used the jack at first but we needed to just sit it on something so we can get three people calvin left of course because he had something else to do today but he did help out in a major way uh yeah so everything's in we just have to button everything back up put everything back in the car this was a this was a pain this was a you know I'm never like this in the videos. I'm really tired. I'm really tired. We still have to do breaks. But the good thing is now that it's getting cooler, like now the peak part of the day is done. And, oh God, this is uh, stressful. If you're doing this and you want to tackle this, great. Have a buddy, have two buddies, have three that are car savvy because that's just going to make everything better. It's going to make the process a lot easier. We literally had everything off the car in a matter of 40 minutes. Getting, because this intercooler is significantly heavier, heavier than the old one. The other one's held in with side, the core sides are plastic and a, it's really thin compared to this one, but oh my God. Well, we're going to go back inside. I'm going to sit in this AC for about 15, 20 minutes. We're going to look on how to put these shrouds back in. But then once we get them in, we could button everything back together and the car will be good. And then brakes are brakes, so it shouldn't be that terrible. All right, so yeah. Let's go inside and take a break. One hour later. Okay. So, as you can see here, Paul specifically said, when you do this, make sure you don't rip out the crash bar wires. And of course, what did I do? I ripped out the crash bar wires, um, the crash wires out of the wires. So, we had a little tool here. We did a little in internet search, searchy search, and oh, it's hot. We figured it out, and then we're good to go. 
So now we're going to splice these. We're going to clamp these back in. We're going to put green to the stripe because we made a stripe on one side to ensure what the color was. So if, you ever, if you ever screw up a uh, bag connector, your best friend is paper clips. Or JSNK7 in general. Or a $70 tool if JR wanted to buy it. Yeah. But he figured I can just figure this out. No, he didn't He didn't figure it. <laughs> I didn't figure anything out. I'm not even going to say it and take credit. This guy figured it out. He's like, oh, bro, it's easy. It's an easy thing. You know, you just take this out, you put this in, you know, do what you got to do. And then, you know, we, we do a little hack job here and then, you know, we get it back working so no airbag blows in your face. Even if we got the tool, a $70 a $70 tool to fix this is better than a $300 airbag and a centerpiece for the steering wheel because that's the side that's for this. And I don't know if this thing has knee airbags or not, but if I started the car, an airbag would deploy in the face. What's up? I need a pliers. I left them upstairs. He left the pliers upstairs. <laughs> I'm going to get this more. We're going to get more of this done. But the inner cool is in. Everything is buttoned up together. We just have to lift every voice and sing here. And get everything mounted back together once we get everything mounted back together we'll be uh good to rock and roll so hopefully we can get be underway soon uh this thing looks terrible all right guys so next thing I, one thing i want to show you guys after we did that intercooler install for the revo in front mount intercooler um i really want to explain a little bit what it's about so right now i'm just pulled over to the side of the road it's about 82 degrees right now I'm letting the car idle on purpose because it's going to heat soak when it's idling because there's no air passing through the inner cooler to cool the air down. So right now it's at 133 degrees here is very important. So pretty much as you guys see my boost, uh, coolant temperature, oil temperature, actual torque, the AFRs, but this is important. The IATs, which are your air intake, your intake air temperatures, which right now is 136 degrees fahrenheit so the lowest it's gotten is 97 and the highest it's gotten right now is 136 so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to show you this number as i drive this number as i drive will definitely decrease in literally like seconds so we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you guys this right now real quick give me one second it's a little bit dangerous out here i'm trying not to I'm trying to I'm trying to do all this for you guys all right, we're good to go. All right. So as I'm driving, you're going to see this 136. So you see that the number. So already you see the number dropped from literally 133 or 136 to 122 in a matter of a few seconds. And that's what an intercooler is supposed to do. It's supposed to keep that air cool. So as you see, I'm idling again, I'm not moving, and that temperature's going right back up because there's, there's, the air is not passing through. So yeah, so that's the significance of it. I'm gonna show you guys this one more time. So I'm gonna wait for it to build up a little bit more, like to like 138, 140. Let's we'll see what we can get to. Let me see if I can. All right, let's go. All right. So watch the air intake temperatures as I'm driving. Just dropping. So those air intake temperatures are just dropping, and that's what you want when you're driving on a hot day and and you want to drive and you want to like if you're on a track or something like that in regards of everything, and. That's really what that's really what this is about. I mean, it's it's not an easy process to really do the intercooler, and it's definitely worth it. So, I would definitely suggest that everyone definitely does make the efforts of changing their intercooler if they have a Mark Seven, or if you have any turbo car for that matter, um, or any force induction car. It makes a huge difference, and it saves your motor too. Heat soak is definitely not a great thing to have. It's not a good thing to heat soak the car and drive it hard on a 90 degree day. You can damage a lot of engine components doing so. Um, I'm happy with what I see. I love the results. And obviously when you do an intercooler, ladies and gentlemen, you have to get it tuned for it. So 
right now in the next couple of weeks I'm going to be revising my tune with 5150 a John at 5150 um, VW and um, we're definitely going to get some better numbers out of this as because of the fact that it's going to do great it's going to do very very well but without further ado guys I hope you guys take care and have a great day make sure you like share subscribe and check out the break job that's coming up next on JR14 I hope you have a great day take care